Hey everyone, welcome to Mad Backyard. Today we're gonna to show you how to easily install and remove the top rack from your Pit Boss Pellet Grill. Now while we love cooking on and working with our Pit Boss and solving big problems like how to get more smoke or how to fix temperature fluctuations, uh, Believe it or not, one of the most common questions we get from new Pit Boss owners is how to get this top rack easily in and out of the Pit Boss. We also made a complete video showing you step-by-step -step how to put together a new Pit Boss pellet grill from start to finish. Uh, so if you're looking for more help on how to get your Pit Boss together besides the top rack, make sure to go check out that video too. Once your grill is assembled, make sure to watch our video on how to start and season a brand new Pit Boss because there's some mistakes you definitely want to avoid the first time you start up your new grill. Now on a gas grill, the top rack is often called the warming rack, and being further away from the gas burners, uh, it, food up here doesn't cook as fast as the food down below, so that's why it's called that. On a pellet grill, because we're using indirect heat, more like an oven, you can think of the top rack just as another cooking surface to cook your food on. The food you put on the top rack will cook at pretty much the same rate as the food on the bottom, unless you have the flame broiler open on your pit boss. The top rack also has a lot of great uses on a Pit Boss, uh, such as if you're reverse searing steaks, you can start off cooking the steaks on the top rack before moving them over the open flame broiler to sear them at the end. It just gives you a lot more space to work with. Now when you're going to install the top rack in your Pit Boss, make sure that the grates that stick out a little further from the end, you can see this little uh, nub right here sticking over the side, are in the front. If they're in the back, you'll never be able to fit it inside your Pit Boss. So there's one on this side and there's one on the other side over here. So those need to be in the front near you. Then you're gonna stand in front of your pit boss, hold the grate in the middle, and you're gonna turn it diagonally, going from one corner to the other. It's gonna just barely fit through there until it's all the way in. Once it's all the way in, we're gonna take the top grate and slide it all the way to one side. I'm gonna to go to the left. And then we're gonna bring it up. And you can see on this right side, that front uh, grate there has to clear. If you have it too far back, it's gonna hit and won't go up. You need to have it forward enough to where it clears that lip, and then you can slide it back. And both sides are gonna fit right in that little uh, cutout there. Once the top rack's installed and you're cooking on it, you can actually pull it forward. You gotta pull so that these uh, front little nubs come out of the uh, crevices there, and you can pull the whole rack towards you to where it hits the front. Now make sure you don't have too much food on the front of the top grate or it can tip down. Um, but for the most part, you can slide it forward to get to stuff a little easier. And then when you're done, make sure you're wearing uh, heat proof clothes when you do this. Uh, you can slide the whole rack back into place just like that. Now there's gonna be times you don't wanna cook with the top rack, especially if you've got a big pork butt or brisket that's not fitting with the top rack in place. So in order to get it out, we're gonna do just the opposite. We're gonna lift it straight up, and we're gonna bring it forward so that that front little uh, peg or nub or whatever you wanna call it drops down past the ledge. And then we're gonna bring it diagonally out through the corners, just like we got it in before just like that. So there you have it. The uh, top rack really can add a lot of additional functionality to your Pit Boss pellet grill and give you a lot more cooking area to work with. So make sure to use it when it does make sense. Make sure to check out all the Pit Boss recipes and resources we have available at madbackyard.com, as well as some of the other videos on our channel to help get you started, such as how to start and season a new Pit Boss and how to empty the hopper when you're changing out your Pit Boss pellets. Thanks for watching.